I'm showing you the fastest and most effective methods of leveling up your character without the use of any glitches so you can become the high level you've always wanted to be in no time. This is for players of all level but to make this guide a straightforward easy to remember video I will be doing this in order of starting with methods that require little to no work and are cost free to methods that are going to take the most time and money although could offer the biggest reward of RP levels. Be sure to watch the whole video as all of these methods combined can get you from level 1 to level 100 in less than 1 week. Trust me. You need a quick overview of just how much levels are needed so when explaining certain RP payouts you can understand how effective each method is. Firstly if you're a beginner to stop confusion experience levels in GTA are referred to as reputation or in other words RP and the level is referred to as ranks. Rank 1 through 21 has no pattern in how much RP is needed for each level up although altogether it takes 92,500 RP points to reach rank 21. Rank 21 through to 98 has a pattern. This is that for each rank you need the same amount of RP points that was required for the previous rank with an extra 300 RP points required. For example if you needed 4,000 points to reach rank 24 then you would need 4,300 points to reach rank 25. Altogether to reach rank 98 you need 1,527,300 RP points. Seems like a lot doesn't it? Well it is which is why I made this guide. So you don't need to constantly search for methods from youtubers who instead of giving you one detailed video decide to make 20 videos on different methods. Rank 98 and onward is also the same RP points as a previous rank although instead of an added 300 points it's just 50. Reaching level 120 is basically the highest rank in terms of useful unlocks and altogether is 2,165,850 RP points. To give you an insight on how different the leveling is as a high level, to go from rank 100 to rank 120, you require the same amount of RP points as required to go from level 1 to level 57. now for the methods my beautiful friends. First things first is to spin that casino wheel every day, especially if you are low level. The RP reward possibilities are 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, 10,000 and 15,000 which honestly is a very good amount knowing that completing Kale Perico Heist only awards you 4,000. If you don't win at least you have a chance at a free podium car too. Once reaching level 15, you unlock daily objectives that you can find in your interaction menu. These are basically free random objectives for you to do every day, which once completed give you 5,000 RP points and $30,000. These objectives can range from tasks as simple as robbing a store to needing to complete a certain heist. Now 5,000 points each time is great, but if you log on every day after the objectives reset and manage to complete the daily objectives every day for one week, you will receive 20,000 RP points as a bonus and $150,000 as a reward bonus. Then doing them every day for 20 days in a row will give you a massive 50,000 RP points and $750,000 reward. We love to see it ladies and gentlemen. Time trials. We've all heard and seen them, but have you ever tried them? Now's your reason to actually finish one. Beating a time trial once a week will give you 5,000 RP points and $100,000. You can play these all the time, but this big reward is only available once per week. Also, a reminder that if you aren't going to beat the time trial in time, make sure to reset the race before finishing. A finishing the race without beating the time trial will still count as a big reward once a week, even without getting anything so far on track of doing a daily objective every day for a week. Along with completing a time trial, you will have earned 60,000 RP points. If you are level 1, that alone is getting you to level 17 with an extra $460,000 in your pocket, which will be needed towards one of the more effective methods later in this guide. Stay tuned hustler. These next two are strategies to be aware of when doing both missions and being in free room. Being the associate of a CEO will give you passive income of 200 RP when staying in close range to the CEO and 600 RP bonuses every 5 minutes or so when driving around with them. Combining this with completing VIP work can be a fun way to make easy RP in free room. Also be on the lookout for when Rockstar will release times 2 VIP events that will give double the amount of money and RP. Next is the chone a crew. This will give you 10% more RP for playing jobs with crew members. Also if you are playing with friends you will automatically get 20% more RP points when playing jobs together. So being in the same crew as your friend as well will give you 30% RP bonus each job that will over time generate a great income of extra RP points. Moving on to contact missions, these offer around 4000 RP points on completion without much time needing spent on them. The fastest and overall best payment out of the contact missions is to do the ones by Simeon. I personally recommend blow up 4 because of just how quickly you can complete this mission and Rockstar have changed contact missions to actually reward you the greatest amount of RP points the faster you, you finish the mission. This can be activated by calling Simeon on your phone to ask for a mission or by going through the pause menu to manually start the Rockstar created job. 
so you can choose which are the semen contact missions you would like. This gives the ability to make around 19,000 RP each hour, but make sure to always complete them on hard for maximum reward. And also remember, playing with a friend and a crew member give you the extra bonus. Speaking on doing jobs as well, it's also worth noting that playing any job in free aim will give you an extra 25% RP points for each kill you get on the enemy AI, which is fairly easy to do. As well as in any aim setting, you get 25% bonus RP for killing enemy AI while they are inside a car. Although this is only for around 150 kills in the job, and then after that you get no more bonuses, and then until you start a new job. New times 2 and times 3 playlists happen every week, which can be seen when loading into the game. You have the option to load straight into one. This can range from races to contact missions, last team standing, and at times offering double reward for VIP work which offers massive RP points. Keep an eye out on these and take advantage, they can be very fun and a great way to grind levels without losing your mind. These next methods are mainly for the adventure and collectors out there. It's not really a method, but since this is a whole RP guide, I want to throw every source of gaining RP points. If you go into your pause menu and go over to the awards tab, you can see that there is a total at the time of recording this video, 353 awards that you can unlock by doing Faro's activities. A lot of these you will have unlocked naturally just from playing the game, but with each of them giving you an RP bonus. Bronze awards offer 100 RP, silver awards offer 200 RP, gold offers 400 RP, and platinum will give you 800 RP points. Getting all of their collectibles in the game or two or easy RP. Going into your interaction menu, you have a section to show how much collectibles you have found for each. The action figures you can collect, there's 100 to collect with each of them giving a 1000 RP, meaning after getting all of these that's a very easy 100,000 RP points, as well as unlocking the superhero outfit as an added flex bonus. The playing cards only have 54 to collect, but yet offer 2000 RP each which relates to having a better return than the action figures. The recently added media sticks also give RP, for each one you find giving you 1000 RP points with only 8 to find but are easily gotten. I have a video on the first 5 to find from the Tuners DLC that you can watch to easily get yourself RP. Finally is the signal jammers, being worth 1000 each with only 50 available to destroy. Flying around with an oppressor mark 2 will have you destroying all of these in no time. There's maps available to easily get all of these collectibles without manually needing to search yourself. I'll have them linked in the description below. Now this next method is the best to level up fast and efficiently, although it requires a certain amount of startup payment in order to have all that you need, but like I said, this will be your best way to reach high levels quickly. This is to source and sell one crate each time in the CEO warehouses. Those of you not aware of selling crates, this can be started by first banning office, the cheapest option being at $1 million and then buying a warehouse at $250,000. This will be faster if you buy two or three warehouses as each warehouse has their own 30 minute cooldown after selling but having other warehouses means you can sell crates there while waiting for the first warehouse cooldown timer to go back to zero. Then log on to your office computer and start a buy mission for just one crate. Of course try to do this in a solo public lobby or really any lobby you think will be safe. The buy mission alone on completion is 2,500 RP points. The crate will cost about $2,000 to buy but you make this money back plus profit with each sell but only buy one crate at one warehouse at a time as the faster you sell after buying seems to be the best profit. Once you have completed the buy mission, now do the sell mission, which will give you 5000 RP for that alone, meaning both buy and sell missions together are giving you 7500 RP points in a very short amount of time. Now, the reason I only get one crate is because one will give you the exact same amount of RP points as a full warehouse full of crates. Crazy I know. Now for the maths of how efficient this is. To reach level 74, you need in total 916,000 points of RP. Taking this and dividing it by the amount of RP for buying and selling one crate. So 916,000 divided by 7,500 equals 122 buy and sell missions needing to be done. To reach level 100 altogether is 1,584,350 points. Once again, dividing this by 7,500 equals to 211 buy and sell missions, which should roughly take around 400 hours of grinding. This is definitely the most efficient, legit method of getting a high rank. For the final method, it's a glitch that is only available sometimes. You know the peyotes that Rockstar randomly put into online, but we do have a story mode to let you turn into random animals. Well, eight one of these give a massive 5000 RP points. Unfortunately, they aren't in the game at the moment, so I can't visually show you, but I'll explain. First, you would set your spawn to the last location through the interaction menu. Go up to a peyote and eat it. Once you do this, you straight away stop being an animal. You'll then get the 5000 points, but then change into a saved outfit. I want you to see the saving icon on your screen after changing. Wait for this to go away and fully close your game, then load back in and repeat. If peyotes come back anytime soon, honestly take advantage of this so much. You can get a character to level 100 so quick without having to do anything. It requires so much lack of effort that you question whether it's even worth your time. That's it for the RP guide. A game with methods not really worth much of your time when it comes to being a legit way, which is why this guide isn't as long as my advanced PvP guide. But these are the best and enjoyable methods to ensure you're no longer a low level bum. Thank you for watching you absolute beauty. Until next time Spartans.